We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Good morning. We are here as we promised. Uh, this morning we're going to make fruit cake. This is my Nana, Nana Olsen's fruit cake. Uh, it uh, unfortunately we had the recipe passed down. We have the ingredients, but really not how to put it together. So, whoops, sorry about that. We're kind of uh, we're kind of uh, just gonna wing putting it together, but um, I'm sure we can do all right. Um, it first ingredients is it calls for a pound of butter. Yes, a whole pound. That's four sticks of butter. A whole four sticks. So we're gonna cream the butter. I softened it. I left it out overnight and softened it up. So, but you can always stick it in the microwave a little bit and soften it up if you need to. Yeah. And we're using a real powerful mixer again. Right, but I needed a bigger bowl, so I didn't use the stand this time because it's very hard to stand. All right, so I'm gonna cream the butter. I just did. All right, and it calls for three cups of sugar, which I've already measured out. So I'll we have that a little at a time. Yeah, we're getting better at this. You guys don't see all the boring parts. <laughs> yeah, this is why I have everything measured out so that, um, you know, you have to watch me measure three cups of sugar and, you know, whatever, or four or five cups of uh, flour. That could get a little on the boring side. <laughs> Here goes the sugar. And you want to mix the sugar in slowly, right? Because right. it'll go all over the place if you don't. And it just incorporates a little better than doing it all at once. And Matt and I usually love to sample when we have the butter of the show. Oh, he's got the spoon already. I got uh, it ready. I, I don't bake that much, so I guess he wants to get his little taste here and there now because I don't usually bake during the uh, winter. I no. mean, I'm sorry, during the uh, rest of the year. You know it. We bake around Christmas time, except for last year when we were trying to diet, diet or lose our weight. So, let me just get some of this down. Do, do, you want to have do, some do, before I put the egg do, in there? Do, 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 do. Up, here he comes, the taste tester. Butter and sugar, the best, thing on, best two things in the world. Yes, everything's better with butter, isn't that what they said? Julia Child. And I was watching that show the other night, um, last, what was it, last vacation? Holiday. Maybe? Last holiday with uh, Queen Latifah, I love that movie. And she has the, the um, chef at the big uh, resort, and that's what he had said too about everything's better than butter, so I just heard that last night. One more bite. One more before I One cover more the bite. eggs. Yep. And it calls for four eggs, so I'm just going to do those all together. But that's, if, if you haven't seen that movie, that's such a good movie. I've seen it about five or six times, and I really love it, and I really like Queen Latifah. I think she's awesome. She is really funny. Well, let's get back to the mean potatoes of this video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is basic. This is similar to the way at this point that you make chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, so far. Correct. That's it. We'll let mom uh, finish mixing yeah. that. We'll get back to you guys in just a minute All or right, two. So have the butter cream. And for some reason, this is the only instruction that I did get. You, you take a cup of sour cream and you have to add uh, one teaspoon of baking soda to it. That's baking powder. Oh, baking soda. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, we baby. almost had an issue here. Yep, I knew it was something there. I'm sorry about that. Good thing you're, you're double-checking me, Matt. It's very <laughs> easy to confuse baking soda and baking powder. Yes. Well, it does call for baking powder later on. That's why I was confused why they would have two. <laughs> but I don't know why you have to incorporate in the sour cream, but that's what it says to do, so that's what I'm going to do. So I got it mixed in now. And I can get it in, add it to my creamed uh, butter, sugar, and eggs. Look at that globby white yeah. goodness there. Uh, don't get, miss it. Get it all in you there. Don't lose every it. Every bit. <laughs> That's it. And when you mix get it, the, all. When you mix this in, it's going to add a little tartness to it, which you need in a fruit cake, actually. All right, so. Yeah, it, it calls for five cups of flour, so boy, we got to get some moisture in here for sure. That's right. 
That's a good point. It does add more moisture yeah, to definitely. it. Definitely. I don't know what the sour cream does, but. Probably you're right, more moisture and Definitely. a little tartness to it. Right. Every fruitcake that I've ever eaten has always been a little on the tart side. All right. That's so, the way I like after it. After that, let's see, we have a tablespoon of cinnamon. Yep, this, this adds all the good spices and the flavor. Yes, and you kids out there, don't eat this by itself. I know oh, that well, cinnamon they, they challenge. They tried that challenge, it's crazy. And a tablespoon of nutmeg. Mm. Which I'm gonna have to get more because that's about woo. I'm gonna use all, most of my nutmeg. About a tablespoon. Yep. And let's see, a tablespoon of allspice. There we go. If you don't like a lot of seasoning, then this is definitely not the recipe for you. There we go. All right, we got the spices. Let's incorporate the spices in our batter mix. Now it's nice and brown. Go ahead and tilt that towards me. Show them what that See looks how nice like. Brown it gets. I'll show you in just a minute. Let me just get the side. Get some of this on the side. And that's what you always want to have a good uh, spatula or a scoop like that yes. to scrape the sides. Definitely must have. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out to Pampered Chef because I love their products. You know, this is not sponsored by Pamp no, Pampered Chef, no, by the way. No, I do like their products. I have a lot of their products. All right, so we've gotten to that far. All right, tablespoon of nutmeg. Now I got to figure out if I'm going to put the fruit in before the flour or after the flour. Okay, so you guys will find out in okay. just a moment. All Talk right, to you so shortly. Now we have oh, five cups of flour, but I also have that. Thank goodness Matt told me about making the mistake with the baking soda because now I'm supposed to have it in baking powder and I need two teaspoons, so I'm going to put that in with the uh, flour. I don't want to forget any of the ingredients. Baking powder this time, not baking soda. Baking powder, yes. And it was baking <sighs> soda for the First. other. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. I couldn't understand why they would have it down twice for the same thing, but they did. I'm just mix it in a little bit. Mm. There's a lot of flour, so it's going to take... Now, I'm going to do these in, in muffin tins, and not muffin tins, in little loaf pans and loaf tins. When my grandmother did it, she did it in two big, like, tube pans. I made two big uh, fruit cakes, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to do it in um, mini loaf pans. It's just easier to give it away that way. So here we go. Let's incorporate all this flour. I'm sure there's going to be a struggle. A lot of flour. And this you absolutely do have to go slowly because if you don't, you'll get flour and everywhere. Yeah, it'll be all over my kitchen, which is a mess anyway. All over the all ceiling, the all over you, all over the counter. <laughs> yep, which I've done before. All right, that's one batch. Here we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and incorporate all this flour, and then we'll show you what the next step is. Correct. We'll talk to you guys in just a couple of minutes. Now we have all the flour incorporated, and here's our batter. And I have to put all this fruit in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it by hand because I think it's going to be too hard for the mixer. So here's my cup of nuts, my cup of chopped walnuts. Try to incorporate those a little bit. Boy, I don't think I'm glad I didn't do my uh, weights today because this will <laughs> this will uh, substitute for uh, my weights. So this is really hard. I think so too. That's a lot of uh, upper body strength it training is. there. There's a lot of fruit in there. That's a pound of cherries, uh, red cherries, green cherries, and pineapple. And look how festive that is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that's why this is made this time of year. Whoa. Okay. So let me get some. I'm gonna do all of it because it gets too hard. Let's get a close Ooh. up of that. I may, I may switch with Matt and let him do this because this is killing my arm. Well, you do a little of this and then this is the golden, this is a pound each of golden raisins and black raisins. Oh, that looks heavenly, doesn't it? Wow. Woo. That's okay. I did my this strength is, training this morning. This is oh, yours. This is a workout, boy. <laughs> this is a real workout. Woo. -hoo. That boy. is insane. I'm doing a little at a time, guys. Well, let mom uh, work the rest of that in, and I'll get back to you guys in just a, that's <laughs> it, in just a couple of minutes. Isn't that festive? All right, tubers. So after incorporating all of that fruit, I actually had to help mom do this. Right? She started getting pretty <laughs> yeah, tired towards the end. My arm. 
So you can see it is all incorporated in there, and that's how much fruit? My gosh, it's a pound of raisins, a pound of uh, black raisins, a pound of golden raisins, a pound of pineapple, a pound of cherries, and a pound of uh, green cherries. So about five pounds of fruit. That's insane. I think it might even be a little bit more than that. Yeah. So that is the actual dough. Now, what's the next step here? Uh, I have to, uh, well, okay, this is the other thing. I, I ordered some mini loaf pans, but they came in back. They're way smaller than I expected. I expected they'd be bigger than that. Oh, yeah, show them what so these I things look like. I don't know if they're going like. to work or not. So I'm going to try a couple of them and just see how they come out. And if not, I'm going to just have to put them in. I have uh, some other loaf pans that I think I have a friend of mine gave me. Let me just see if I can dig them out over here. Yeah, you can see the kind of mess that is in here. We've actually cleaned yeah, up I recently. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that let me like four of these little loaf pans, which I'll probably do some in there too. So, well, I'll see how these work out. I thought they'd be a little bigger. I ordered them online, and I thought they'd be a little bigger than that. I don't know how it's going to come out, but we'll test it, and I'll let you know. All right, talk to so, you guys right, in a few. All right, so this is, like I said, this is going to be an experiment because I've never used these mini loaf pans, which are pretty small. But I'm going to grease them with a little Crisco. I'm only going to do maybe three because I really don't want to waste the batter if, if they don't come out very well. But we'll see how they come out. And let me just make sure I get a Crisco in here. There we go. You need to make and, sure you coat them thoroughly because yeah, you do not I'm, want these gonna, to stick. Yeah, and I'm going to do one in this mini loaf in this one just to see. I'm sure it will come out fine in this. Because believe it or not, even though they are non-stick, at least those have with the Teflon, because this dough is so thick, it can actually still stick. And just to double check that, we're actually going to add some flour as well. Add the flour. That's all right. I don't care if it goes on the counter. It needs to be cleaned anyway. That's so it. One. So you have two lines of defense against sticking. You have the flour and you have the Crisco. And we'll let mom do that. We'll uh, go ahead and put it in there. And then we're going to go ahead and bake them at 300 degrees for how long? I'm going to try 300. I mean, the original recipe when you're doing the big, uh, um, almost like a bunt size pan, they're called two pans, is uh, 250, I think. But that's like for a couple hours. Obviously, this isn't going to take as long. So mm -hmm. I'm going to scoop a little bit in. I'm sorry, let me get it in. See? I'm going to scoop a little bit in. I don't know even know how much. I'm not even sure how much to put in, but this is this is going to be an experiment for sure. Make sure I get a little bit of everything in there, some green, and so they're colorful. A little more. I don't know how much they're going to rise. This is just an experiment, guys, because like I said, I've never used pans like this. They came in a little smaller than I had wanted. So, yep, we're going so. to finish scooping those in, and we'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like when they come out. Talk to you shortly. All right, tubers, so here's Mom filling up the uh, fruitcake pans. They're not quite filled up yet, but this is going to be a total experiment because we do not know how long to put these in there for. Is she only going to do the three for right now? I'm going to do the three because I don't want to waste the batter, okay. you know, if they don't come out right, so. Go ahead and stick these in the oven. Hold on, I got one more. I'm nope. try this one too. Yep, we're going to try that place. one and we'll see how they come out. We'll let you guys know in just a couple of minutes. All right, tubers, so here is the finished product. These are my great grandmother's famous Christmas fruit cakes. Now, the times on these are at 300 degrees. The small loaf pan took a half an hour to cook, and the one in the big loaf pan actually took an hour to cook, but they came out moist, delicious as always. Um, one thing we did need to, we forgot to do was cut the cherries in half. Yeah, I think that's good. So we're going to go ahead and do that for the next batch. But other than that, they're absolutely delicious. I mean, look at that scrumptious fruit cake right there. Hope you guys enjoy or enjoying these cooking videos. I know Mom and I are enjoying filming them. Is there anything you wanted to say? No, bon appetit. <laughs> All right, tubers, stay tuned for some more of these videos coming in the near future. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.